Hello friends and welcome to a cover tutorial. I haven't done an old school like screen share tutorial in a while so this is kind of exciting. Um, before we get into it I just wanted to remind you kind of what a cover looks like. Um, so I just typed in math to TPT and your cover is that first picture that pops up when you are adding things to your listing. So here's what pops up when I just search for math. Um, and you can see kind of a different variety of bundles or not bundles covers as you see most of them will have a large picture sometimes a picture and sometimes a screenshot as well as large title and then really important things so like this says third because it's third grade 100 percent editable that's important um, but for it to really work, you want to make sure all of your words are pretty big. Like even here, I can't really see what that is. And remember that increasingly people are looking at their phones. And so even though you can't currently purchase on your phone, I know I look at stuff on my phone. So keep that in mind as you are making your things. If you're looking for some inspiration, I do find it helpful to type in a random word and just kind of look through here, but do make sure that you are not copying anybody because it's very important that you do not copy them because one you um that's stealing and two because you want to make sure that you are creating your own brand and your own brand needs to look different than other people's brand so even though i'm going to go through a tutorial today please do not take this exact thing and run with it like take it and add your own colors add your own fonts maybe change some things up depending on what you're doing i'm going to click here where it says create a design and i'm going to go to instagram post square because i want a square cover that's going to work the best currently on tpt and then when you do that you just get a blank box um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a couple of things like I said you want to make sure you have a photo so I'm gonna actually come down here to frames because I like being able to have a frame to put my photo in I think that just makes life easier and then I'm also gonna put some color on the outside of the box because I just like personal preference like to have color on the outside so that it kind of matches so let's go to the back we could even make it black let's make it black um now obviously i don't want the whole thing or maybe we could make it white so switch that to white and then click on border and we can have even like a rather thick border and we can change the color of that as well by clicking here and you can make it you know whatever color you want these are my brand colors you can save brand colors in canva which is really helpful also if you have a photo in there so let's just look at a random photo um you can use the eyedropper tool so you can come up here click add new color and you can type it in if you know what it is or you can click the little eyedropper guy and then you can choose a color and then it'll you know match so you can match the color of whatever's in your product i actually kind of like that color so we're gonna run with it um now you want to have some sort of photo so we can use here let's just use this guy so this is a rhythm activity where students are sorting the petals onto the stems that match and we'll make it nice and big. I always make it really, really big because again, remember, it's going to look very small when people are searching for it. It's better to have less pages that look larger than it is to have more pages that you can't see. So I see a lot of times people will have like a lot of pages all like this. And then like y'all you, you can't see what those say so even if you're going to use i kind of do three or four as the maximum i still try to make them pretty big and make sure that you can see what they are or at least kind of see that they're different so we're just we're gonna roll with this one um then we're gonna want some sort of text so let's do meter sort activity you can change the font as well i have 
oh that's not actually the font oh because i clicked here instead of clicking down here um, you can change your fonts also in your brand kit which is super helpful you can change them here i would say make sure it's something that is really really easy to read so actually as it is is totally fine or something like this that's like really bold I would not do something like this because even though it's pretty, it's hard to read, especially when it's going to be small. Because remember, it's going to be really small. And so you want to make sure it is nice and bold so we can see what it's going to look like. I'm also going to add another box behind it or maybe under it. We might do under. Apologies for dog whining. They do that just all day long. Um, so that we can kind of separate the title from the rest. So we could do like this. So I just added another shape. I'm going to go across. We can make you bigger. I like using this guy to make things bigger once you have it all sorted. And I want it to be as big as possible. Um, and then... I like to have something that I'm kind of highlighting. So like here we have meter sort activity. So maybe I'm going to say, you know, use for centers or, or maybe I'm going to say like perfect for spring, or I might have more information about what rhythms are included or something along those lines can go there in my second little box there. You could also add a shape and you can actually write inside your shape. So let's change that color again. And then when you type in here, I can say, I don't know, spring. I wouldn't actually say spring but just as an example you can add something here and i love doing that to really highlight something that is important or sometimes i'll do a smaller box like right here and that helps as well the biggest thing is to make sure that you have really large text and that you're not um, making it so that it's hard to see and a good way to do that is just to zoom out really far and see if you can still see the picture and see if you can still see most of the text if you look from here, you can tell it's easier to read the black on white than it is to read the red and black. So that's another thing to keep in mind is the contrast that you have in between your top part and your second part. So let's even look at it a different way. This time I'm going to stick this here for the header instead of underneath it. And then we could even change the color. So maybe we make this one black and we make the letters white. And then I can change the border color. And now I have something that really stands out. And you could even add another little thing. You could add an arrow. There's all sorts of different shapes in here. So you could do, maybe we do like this one and put it here. And then this can be your most important thing that you add to your product. So letting us know what's included. Maybe you put a grade level, maybe you put, you know, print and go is a good idea. Different things like that, that we can add in there that way. And that's really effective if you're going to do that though i would definitely move this guy to the other side and then i wouldn't use this picture because of the composition just like the hand with the picture on top i would do probably this on this side and then this on this side can we flip it no well, we can flip it this way but then it's upside down <laughs> okay um so just different things like that that you can add in to make it a little more interesting the biggest thing again is just to make sure that you're not overwhelming with lots of different things and that you're really creating your own brand if you're not sure what 
like colors you want your brand to be. What I suggest, by the way, is just to go to, well, you can go, okay, hear me when I say this, you can go to TBT and do this and kind of look through and see what colors kind of stand out to you. Again, do not copy anybody's thumbnails, but if you're like, hey, I like the black and white and how this one's black with the white text, which is actually what we just did. Or if you're like, oh, I like, you know, the blue or I like the yellow on this one or I like the pink, like just keep note of the things that you like about it. Don't copy, but just like, hey, I like this color and that is an option, especially because you can see how big it is. You can also, for colors, especially go to Pinterest. This is the craft that we did in Children's Church today. Um, and you can type in, like, that's not how you, oh my gosh, Becca. <laughs> color palette. And it will come up with all of these different color palettes. And so you can actually use these. I'll show you in a second how you can use these color palettes to figure something out and if you like one then you can click on it and scroll down and it will show you things that are similar and so if you like one you can click and scroll down and see like these colors are similar to that one and so you might be able to find something that way and that's really good if you're having a hard time trying to see what colors do look good if you are putting words on top of your text, I would definitely say make sure that there's a big contrast. So see even from here to here how it's easier to read the word rhythm on that one than it is to read use for centers on this one. That's because it's just there's more contrast is a little bit of a lighter color. So keep that in mind as you're picking your colors and especially text and colors having black and white, navy and white, like dark color with white on top is going to be actually easier to read than a light color with black on top, just FYI. Um, so that's something to keep in mind and you can find these. So if I like one of these, let's say I like this one, I'm going to come here and I'm going to click download. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put this here and then we can change the colors again by using the little eyedropper guy and doing that. So this is a really useful tool if you're looking for colors and you have a hard time figuring out maybe like what colors might go together well. See how hard it is to read that. You can use this little eyedropper tool and these different things in order to make that stand out. If you want some help, I actually did post some cover thumbnails that are in my TPT shop. I will leave a link to them down below. They're templates like this. I just did them in really simple colors so that you can change them. Um, and I put a couple of different options that might really help you. So I'll leave a link to those down below and you can do that or you can make them yourself on Canva. Again, please don't copy these. And even if you do purchase the templates, I would highly recommend you change the colors out so that they're not all the exact same colors. Um, but I would add whatever colors you want for your brand. Um, and just one more little note on colors. As you're finding your colors, kind of think about what feeling they evoke because like this one and this one have very different feelings. So what do you want your brand to be? Do you want to be bright and fun? Do you want to be light and calm? Or even this is pretty calm, even though it's still colorful. You want to go with more like neutrally colors or more bright and fun colors. There's not like a right answer. Just make sure you are going with what you want in your store. Okay. So whatever feeling you want to be, you know, if you're going for more like super organized, you're probably going to want clean, bright colors and lots of white versus if you're going for like really fun, then you're going to want more like bright colors. So just think about that as you are making your things and adding your color palettes and you can change all your brand stuff when you are doing, um, when you add, when you pay for Canva, that's the word I'm looking for. And obviously I have not gone through everything, but it is really helpful to have a couple things. This is also fun, by the way, if you have brand colors in here or even a color palette, and you click, it'll shuffle what colors are where until you find like a version that you like. That's fun. Can we find color palettes? Is that a thing? Mm. 
Look at that. You can find color palettes right here. And get, see, this is why I love Canva. Burp. Yep, find your color palettes right in there. Make them from there. And I know there is a way that you can do something similar with them, but I'll figure that out. I would love to learn more about Canva and do like a Canva hacks. I feel like that would be a really fun thing to do. So let me work on that. But for now, um, that's really all I've got for you. So I'll leave the link to those templates down below. They will not look this chaotic. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.